Good afternoon. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. I'm Zuri BB, and I'm going to do a collective reading today. And I'm going to be using the Hermetic Tarot and Crowley um, Tarot. And this is going to be a reading just for the collective in general. I'm not saying it's a divine feminine or a divine masculine. And the card that has popped out, it has something to do with the universe. And on the bottom, has defeat, Lord of defeat. But I'm not really sure if that's really what, if somebody's feeling defeated, or is this something with, um, we're trying to um, overcome being defeated. I'm not for sure. But let's see. Can I have a message? Four cups. So, Lord of Blended Pleasure and King of Wands. So, there's something with some passion. Uh, some Somebody wants to come forth. Because in these four cups, all the cups are full. All of them are full. High Priestess is here. Gemini. I think that's the sign of the Gemini. No, that's not Gemini. That's don't give me the line because I but it looks like Gemini to me, but I'm not. That's the one thing. That's why I like these cards, but I'm still learning them. But with the universe. Look, somebody is looking happy. Yeah. So somebody's trying to um, come forward passionately. There's a king of wands here. Nine of pentacles was on the bottom, but I'm not taking that. Seven of pentacles. Yeah, this king apparently is working on his four cups to come forward. I mean, yeah, he's looking at how he can do it. And there's the queen of wands, so he wants to come toward his counterpart. Wow, there's a whole message, and I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Princess of Cups. This is a young energy. They want to come forth fast, though. I like this. Um, the Knight of Swords is Lord of the Winds and Breezes. So this is the Knight of Swords is the fastest um, knight in any deck. And um, even though it's a young energy, they want to come rushing in to their lover. keep these cards the way they are because there's something here um, and like I said this is a young energy but they rushing in rushing in with the emotions are young but they still rushing in and this is a young young relationship so this is somebody new And whoever this person is, they're happy within themselves, Lord of Material Gain. They've already they've gained for themselves. They've regained they've gained their own pentacle. So they're not trying to take from someone else. But they want to begin have a passionate, they want to begin passionately with whoever this person is. And they hope that this can move forward. They want to make sure they want to work together. They want to passionately work together. This is Lord of Established Strength. When you work together with somebody, you know, two hands are stronger than one. So this sounds like mission. Somebody's trying to get into some type of mission. And by working together, they'll be able to have this new abundance. They're creating abundance together. And this was in reverse. It would get them out of the seven of swords, Lord of unstable effort. 
by working together passionately, they'll get out of this unstable situation. So there is a situation. Um, yeah, and on the bottom is Six of Wands, Lord of Victory. That's what they want. And you got to be careful because Lord of Illusionary Success is here. So you got to make sure that you're not um, deluded by any illusions. And what's this one? Nine of Wands. You want to make sure you're not fighting. What does this one say? Lord of Great Strength. There's that seven of cups. And this is, oh, wow. So look at that. So I read that to you as Lord of Illusionary Strength, but the sun is behind it. The sun is behind it. So um, there is some healing taking place that if for some reason there's an issue with this victory. Um. Yeah, they're saying it's going to be successful. This is um, Six of um, Pentacles. This, if you do right. Whereas in the past, there might have been a messy situation. This is the Bach. Um, this is Seven of Cups. Emotion, there was, the emotions were all over the place, and there was a lot of negative energy. Four of Cups is uh, clarified by the Four of um, Swords. Clarity, truce. So that's why um, there's going to be some success because there's a truce going on. And somebody went in. Went, I shouldn't have pushed them in. I, there was a message there. Somebody went into um, her, went into their hermit. They went within. story i'll take it um the king of wands wants to be happy he wants not only to be passionate but he wants to be happy he wants ten of cups this is what he wants so apparently whoever this king is they understand what what their true happiness will be And so they know that there needs to be a change to help get out of the seven of pentacles, Lord of um, success unfulfilled. They need to, they, they knew this. There's some type of change. And this is the Visica Pisces. And it's a cycle. They knew that if they could get out of this cycle. And this, you know, you see the moon, these moon cycles and things. And that's deep because there's a there's a crown right there. This is this is this King of Wands. He knows this. That's deep. I never noticed that before. Um, and so, he's coming in. These are messages. This is the eight of... No? What is this? Yeah, this is uh, messages. Swiftly are coming in. Even though this en energy is a young emotional energy. They're getting messages. This king of wands. This this is so whoever this is about is a king of wands. Somebody's king of wands is swiftly coming forth with his emotions. So if he does do that, don't you know don't judge him or anything, you know. And here's the lovers. Knight of Swords. He's coming in because he want he's clearly stating what he wants. He wants to be with his lover. This is the message. And the lovers is clarified by the Queen of Cups, who is the Queen of Cups is in full um, control of her emotions upright. So this is positive. And the Princess of Wands. It's a young energy, but it's willing to start over. Willing, the, the fool here. The fool here is saying they want to start over. And on the bottom here is um, strength. They want to start over. So apparently there might have been something in the messages. Um, and they know that they needed to change some things to get out of that seven of pentacle energy. 
So, what else is going on here? I'll take them. That's another message. So, Nine of Pentacles is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. So, this person, this person is successful within themselves. And I normally call this the selfish card. And with it being clarified by itself, it's clear that this person um, is abundant within themselves. But they know by getting with their lover, they'll gain more. Because this card, this card says Lord of Material Gain. And this card just says Gain. So this King of Wands understands some things. He's gone within. Um, under you know he he knew he, he had he wasn't very successful, so he made a change. There's some type of change that he's made. Yeah, because. In the past, he was um, Ten of Wands, oppression. This is why this new beginning is coming. He's getting a new passionate beginning for something after being um, overwhelmed, oppressed. And he moved away. The chariot allowed him to move away from that disappointment. And he knew he wanted to passionately be with someone and so he was he made the wish he made the wish on this on on having this success and he got the star he wished and because of that this new financial beginning is going to allow him to um have victory over the situation whereas in the past he had Cruelty. Yeah, there was something with the Seven of Pentacles that caused some issues. Um, can I have another card? I'll take it. So, it's interesting. Um, you, it, um, he's going to have victory over this reverse of Seven of Swords. Lord of unstable effort because he has the key. He knows who he is. This person knows who he is. The Hierophant. The Hierophant knows that he is not the Lord of Unstable Effort. He knows he's the Hierophant. He has the key to everything that he needs to help him manifest. He's not the magician, but he has the key to the knowledge to help him do the things that he needs to do. What's on the bottom here? He's very clear on it. He's very clear. Queen of Swords. The Seven of Wands is um, Lord of Victory. And he, you know, he's going to use that Queen of Wands energy if he has to. I'm going to leave this like this. This is just a general reading for the um, collective. This is, this is a good reading. Somebody here has been doing the work to heal whatever neg um the negatives in their life and whatever it, it had to do with uh pentacles because uh Lord of Success was unfulfilled. He made a change. He made a change to turn this situation around. So whoever this may be, I'm happy for you. Continue moving forward on your journey. Um I wish you the best. Especially, he's, he's you know, because he's made these changes within, within himself, this is allowing him to move forward with his counterpart. I'm really, this is really cool. I'm happy to hear that. All right. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. And I will be back shortly. Peace.